the thing about AI, not even what AI is, if you are a fresher who does not know Python, Cloud or anything else, or you are experienced who want to change the domain in AI, or just wondering from where to start, then you are at the right place. We are going to discuss AI step by step in a question answer format, so it will be helpful even for your AI interviews. And some of them are real world AI interviews that I personally encountered or by my colleagues, my juniors and some of them are collected from best resources available on the internet. So you will get everything in this video series from concepts to animated explanation and practical demos. I try to explain everything from scratch in this video and still you won't understand anything let me know in the comment section. I am super active in the comment section so your every query will be answered and also I go live every day so you can ask me there as well. Our first question is what is AI? Some people might be wondering who asks such definition question in interviews nowadays. Well it is asked to me. You need to understand one thing AI is new. No one is expert in AI. According to studies to become an expert in anything you need 10,000 hours to work on it which is more than 3 years of professional experience and only a few people in the IT industry can claim such experience and that gives you a golden chance to excel in AI and stay ahead of everyone. So you might think AI is some supercomputer or some software like that which in a way is true but just like Linux is technically not an operating system, AI is technically a field of computer science that deals with a set of technologies concerned with building hardware and software or a combination of both that can solve cognitive problems or even tasks that involves data whose scale exceeds what human can analyze. Those who don't know what cognitive tasks are so cognitive tasks are tasks which generally require human intelligence such as learning, create something, image and speech recognition, understanding natural language, text analysis, decision making, problem solving, make predictions and many other intelligent tasks which we generally do as humans. But how we are going to develop self-learning system? Let's understand this with a real life example. Suppose you want to become a baker who can make variety of beautiful cakes without anyone helps. So to do that we need ingredients. We should know the recipe of a cake to know the overall process of using ingredients and then we have to bake the cake to get the desired cake. Similarly the ingredient for AI to create this self learning system is data and it need massive data to learn by itself and these massive data when grouped into a collection called a data set and to properly utilize these data sets we need logic and procedure that will define how to process these data sets. These procedures are called algorithms. You can compare these algorithms with programming code. Algorithms are applied to a data set to achieve a certain function or purpose to get the desired output and that output is known as AI model which is the output of an algorithm that has been applied to a data set. You can compare AI model with a software program. And to make this AI model, we need to train the AI model using relevant data. The trained model can then be used to make prediction or decision in new and similar situation to solve these cognitive tasks. So a question might be asked in an interview to differentiate between an algorithm and a model. AI algorithm is the set of instruction or rules that guides the AI system on how to perform a task. While the trained instance of the algorithm on a specific data set which can make decision or predict based on the learned pattern to solve cognitive problems without further human intervention is an AI model. AI model can apply different algorithms to relevant data input to achieve the task or output they have been programmed for. Basically the difference is similar to the difference between a recipe of a cake and an actual baked cake. Now these upcoming questions are very important as we are going to discuss about types and stages of AI development and terms like AGI, ASI which you should know even for day to day conversation. 
and as an AI engineer, we should know what we are working on and what we are developing. So the first type of AI is Artificial Narrow Intelligence, simply known as Narrow AI, which refers to the ability of AI to perform a narrowly defined task similar to humans or in some cases better than human. But remember, narrow AI can only perform narrowly defined tasks, which means we have to specify tasks very clearly without any error or issue. That's why it is also known as weak AI. However, it is the highest level of AI development that humanity has achieved so far. And every example of AI that you see in the real world falls into this category, including autonomous vehicles and personal digital assistant. That's because even when it seems like AI is thinking for itself in real time, it's actually coordinating several narrow processes and making decisions within a predetermined framework. The narrow AI thinking does not involve consciousness or emotion. AI can be further classified into two types, reactive machine AI and limited machine AI. So reactive machine AI are considered as the first major stage of AI development that only reacts to different kind of stimuli based on the pre-programmed rules. For instance, IBM's Deep Blue AI, which beat the chess champion Gary Kasparov in 1997, was an example of a reactive machine AI. It does not use memory and thus cannot learn more or enhance its performance with the new data. The second stage of AI development, which we are currently in, is limited memory AI. It can use memory to improve over time by being trained with new data. So all AI you see nowadays, even ChatGPT, is narrow AI in the limited machine AI stage. Second type of AI is artificial general intelligence, in which will come the third stage of AI, theory of mind AI, sometimes called strong AI or human level AI. AGI does not currently exist, but research is ongoing on its possibilities. Even though it is currently out of reality, but all major companies are working toward it. Even recently news came in that the ChatGPT organization OpenAI has achieved ANI secretly. That is why OpenAI has fired its CEO, but no clarification came on that later. So it is still considered out of reality till now. This type of AI will be able to emulate the human mind and will have the decision-making capabilities equal to that of a human. It would be capable of creativity and imagination on par with humans and could take on a far wider range of tasks than narrow AI. And the last type of AI is artificial superintelligence, which will reach the final stage of AI development, self-aware AI. A step above theory of mind ASI describes a mythical machine that is aware of its own existence and can outperform humans in almost every field, including scientific creativity, general wisdom, and social skills. But thankfully, like the theory of mind AI, self-aware AI does not currently exist. And if you are wondering why I said thank you, maybe you need to watch some science fiction movies. Thank you so much for watching the video till here. That means you gain value from this video. Please type awesome explanation in the comment section to let me know that you have watched video till end.